Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today I'm going to use Tinkercad Code Blocks to show you how to make this adorable octopus keychain. So let's get cracking. Friends, I'm going to try and speed this up today. So if you've never done a code block, check the ones up above. I give you all the steps there. Right now, what I'm going to tell you is I want you to build these pieces like this. You need to bring in a new object and then you need to rename it leg. Now I've already done that, so I'm going to delete mine. So you've got an object named leg. You need to bring out another one named eye. You need to bring out another one bow and another one smile. Whatever you do, never duplicate these. If you ever see an issue where they keep renaming as the other one, just throw away the bad one and bring out a new one. Now the first object you're going to build is a leg. You need to go to shapes. You need to find the half sphere, add a move with a Z of 5, add a scale of 0 0.51 and 0 0.5. When you're done with that, do the eye. It is a sphere, it is a cylinder. 2 and 18, 0 0.98 for the radius. That helps for filament that we put in later. Height of 10, sides of 64, and then a rotate, make sure it's X and 90 degrees. Next, build a bow. I want you to use two of the hearts. You rotate them around X, 180 degrees. You move them to a Y of negative 15, a cylinder with 8, 18, 64, 2, and 10. And then you do a move of negative 8 for that one. You need to create a group. You can pick any color you want. Rotate it around Z and then scale it 0.1 for all three. And then finally create a smile. You can create a custom one. I used the tube. It's a solid and then I used a cube as a whole. I did 6, 1.5, 5, and 24. And then for the cube that cuts it off, I did 20, 20, 20. And then I moved it 7 up so that it cuts it off. I created a group and I rotated around X 90 degrees. Those are your parts, friends. When you hit play, your parts will assemble like this. You have got one leg. You've got an eyeball hiding under there that gets cut later. You've got a mouth and a bow. When you've got your parts like that, you can move on to the next step. Create another new object, this one named Octopus. Find from the control a count with. You're going to count with I from 1 to 8 because that's how many legs. And you're going to add a copy of the object. To find the leg, you need to come down here and then drop it in. You need to move it a Y of 10, rotate around Z, and then this is a special piece of math. You bring out the math chunk, you find the variable, so there's the I, you make it times, and then you type in the number 45 for how many degrees you want it to rotate. That goes in that box. I'm going to throw this one away. You also need to bring out one of these pivot chunks, and you need to make Y a pivot of 20. At that point, you're done with the leg, so we bring out a delete object, and we put the leg variable inside to clean it up. Right here, you add a sphere for the body, radius is 7.5, steps 18. You need to move it 20 and 11. You add a copy of the eye, so it's the same steps as before. You move this negative 3, 13, and 14, and you rotate around X, negative 15 degrees. Repeat that, add another copy of I. But this time, instead of negative 3, you go positive 3. Keep the 13 and 14. Keep the X and the negative 15. When you're done, delete the I. Add a copy of Smile. Move the Y17 and the Z9. Rotate that around X, negative 15 degrees. This is a comment. I let you know that this is the hole for the keychain. For our keychains, we use a radius of 2.5. 20 is plenty high to cut it out. You do need to move it 33 along the Y axis. We need to add a copy of the bow. You need to move it negative 2, Y24, and 17 and a half up to make sure it connects. You're going to rotate that around X 30 degrees and around Y negative 15 degrees. Friends, create a group, delete the bow, delete the smile, and let's see just what we made. I'm going to make this a little bigger. And there, my friends, is your amazing octopus keychain. How fun is that? Now, friends, I made a bow because that's what the first student did when they made theirs. You could also make a top hat. You can make anything you want. Just make sure you're making your parts that you're going to use up here. And then when you come back down here, you add them in. You do need to make sure they're connected. That's what makes this 3D printable. They print really quick. And if you do get yours approved for printing, remember it's this easy. You click export. You choose STL. 
and then when the save as pops up you need to switch to the STL folder and make sure it has your initials and you can also put your dream color on it. I can't guarantee the colors but that's a good way to have a shot at getting the color that you want. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this and I'd love to hear your feedback on what you think of the new code block style where I just show you the code and then you have to copy it as you play with it and then hopefully make it more awesome. Friends, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.